not on tight. First thing you do, yeah, it's ridiculous. Bend back there. When you got a roof like this in the valley, right there, you want to definitely make sure that these shingles cross over the hip right there, or you don't have to leave it. Every time it rains, the water's going to go up underneath there and hit. And then just follow it straight down. They cut the valley. There was a piece of felt missing right there. A bunch of nail pops sticking up through the roof going on. So I would say the nail pops were probably the leaks. They've been banged down and cocked over so many times. There's one of them right there. They've been banged down and cocked over to the point where we couldn't even find them. So that's where we're at. Yeah, they nailed the hell out of them. I like the color. It's a good color for this house. It's it's pretty close to it. It's, they're all single, these are new, they last pretty close. Yeah, that's about as close you're going to get. Yeah. Alright, we got the shingle overlapping the hip right here seeing how you got a valley coming off to keep the water from flowing back up in here we decided to go over it so that when the cap goes on top it'll seal it out where it won't flow under it